Hello, this is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I do a variety of different topics on data science and analytics. Uh, anything from an open discussion uh, to going through a tutorial on a commercial package or um, as I'm going to do today, a little tutorial on R, an open source um, language. This is the third part um, of a series on the World Development Indicators package data set. And today we're going to be talking about creating a multivariate time series. So, and then next time we'll be talking about actually doing vector autoregression um, with this series. So we're setting this up for next time when we're actually going to do some, some forecasting. So, and hopefully you joined me before um, and you've seen us work with this with this series, the, the last two in, in R24 and R25 of my series. So uh, going straight into our studio, uh, I'm going to require this WDI uh, package and data in, it has the data set built in. And then I'm going to pull industrialized nations out of it, uh, the US, Canada, Germany, et cetera. And then I'm going to assign column names um, there. And we did all of that before. So this is, so if you join me before this kind of a repeat, just setting the data set up. Now what we're going to do is we are going to require this um, a shape too. Um, and then we're going to cast. We're going to use this, this function decast. Let me go a little wider. So that you can see everything, and we're going to use this decast to um, cast the, the data frame into a wide data format. We're going to execute that, and then we'll actually look at the the header the, or the head of the of the data uh, set that we have here. And so we can see we have years 1960 through 65 for Canada, China, Germany. Um, some NAs there, so missing values for, for Germany. We'll check that out in just a minute, how deep that goes. Israel, Japan, Singapore, et cetera. So the uh, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use, as we have before um, for, for univariate, I'm going to use this time series to change the class um, into this multivariate uh, time series. And I'm going to do that. if if I were to look at the environment, I can see all what objects I've created, and sure enough, this is a, a time series class object within R. Um, and then the next thing I'll do is I'll actually plot this data out and then give it um, give it a look. So let me expand this. Hopefully you can see this um, in the video that Germany is one I'm kind of curious about and sure enough I can see I'm picking up Germany up here but anything prior to 1970 doesn't look like it it does appear so again the goal here is going to be fitting a uh, a VAR a, a vector autoregressive model and uh, so rather than trying to backfill that data we're just going to remove Germany um, out of this. So to do that, um, I'll execute this command um, and just pull without Germany. And then if I want to get a plot of the series itself, I can just I'm going to use a simple plot that gives me an idea um, uh, of the seven components that I have within this multivariate time series. So that's all I wanted to do. I just kind of wanted to to do this real quickly because the next uh, session will be a little bit longer, a little more involved. So hopefully you'll join me then. Thank you.